COVID actually taught us a lot. I believe everybody learned from COVID. Um, my learning was if you want to do something, do it now. And why Chumalama? If I don't go, I will feel regret for my whole life. Um, hello, I'm Vivian. Originally, I'm from Hangzhou, China, and it's already my 11th year in Hong Kong. Currently, I work in a financial data, financial system company. So our company is supposed to help those bankers, asset owners to provide information to them for them to making the investment decisions. Actually, I just came back from the trip, which I realized my one of my dreams. Um, I climbed the, the Mount Chumalama and I successfully submit. And why Chumalama? It was uh, because I heard about seven plus two. Seven means the seven continent, um, the highest mountain of those seven continents and uh, trekking to the North Pole and the South Pole. So my guide, who is a very, very important person in my climbing life, he guided me from my first mountain. He made me feel more independent when I climb. I think his story about his climbing in seven continents really gave me a lot of inspiration. Nobody anticipates the, uh, the COVID will come and I cannot do anything but training. I attended like long outro trail running races, like 100K to make sure I can still move after 20 hours. Then when 2023 comes, everything seems like be normal. I told myself, climb now. The Chumalama is calling me. Climbing the Chumalama is already being very commercial, but there's still a chance you probably will never come back. <laughs> I searched Google how to ride a wheel, but I still decided to go because I thought if I don't go, I will feel regret for my whole life, which is definitely not the life I want to live. We start in 21st April. So we flew to uh, Nepal, uh, Kathmandu from Sichuan. We took the helicopter to Nanchi Bazaar and we took probably one week's time from the 3,400 meters to uh, Lopte, which is the last village be before the Everest Base Camp, where we took the first training to climb the east peak of Lopte. And then we went to the base camp, uh, recovered for one or two days, and then we to start the second training, which was from the base camp to Camp 1, Camp 2, and also tried to climb the Lotsi phase, then went back to the base camp. The last really final uh, summit round, we started at midnight of 14 May, then took four days, go to the Camp 4, which is 7,900 meters. And on the night of 17th May, we kick off um, the last summit day. So 18th May, my climbing that day was pretty crowded. Basically, the way up, I am always in the queue. Um, I cannot really control my pace. Slower than you expected. That's why I took 14 hours to stand on the top of the uh, mountain. And at last, I stood at the top of the uh, Chumalama at Beijing morning time, 10.3 a.m. Uh, of 18 May. Did I ever think about giving up? No, not a second. Of course, you feel tired, you feel exhausted, but that is something familiar for me. I mean, when I was doing 100K trail running, at that moment, it's very similar. You feel like giving up, you feel like, why I'm here? I do believe girls can do whatever they want or whatever they think they want to achieve.